Oh, okay, we are live. Welcome. Cool. I just sent a tweet saying live now. And I'm just gonna say live now. All right, hey Sam. Hey so, Sean. Everyone should know there you can see those balloons back there. It is in fact Sam's birthday today. So happy birthday to you. And 20 maybe, strong years. <laughs> very, very good. We'll make this a, a birthday themed uh, live demo. Um, so this week we're going, and by the way, last week's where we will, we'll be redoing that theme again next week, the, uh, the live uh, note taking. So this is, this is one of those things you have to be there. Um, but the, the next one we do uh, is, is going to be amazing. Um, this week we wanted to show, we're actually going to be operating off of a, a beta because we we we're adding a couple of really neat um, augmentations to the uh, the draw tool and a couple of other things and we'll be sharing more information about this in the coming uh, days uh, but I'll jump right into it and um, oh yeah we'll actually we'll test to see how the collaboration works on these betas uh, it might run into bugs but it can also be cool this is one of the things we're testing so I'm gonna switch to my iPad and. Hey, Rashawn, let me know when you want me to switch to mine as well. Uh, okay, cool. And can you see uh, my screen there? Sam, is my screen visible there? Yep, I can see it. All right, nice. So uh, I'm on the collaborative whiteboard, or explain everything, and I'm in a beta. So some of the things I show right now um, are not yet released, but will be soon. Uh, and I'm just going to start. I'm going to actually create from a template, and I'm just going to choose. Uh, actually, I'll create one from scratch because that's always fun. We'll do a slightly, uh, we'll do a light blue background, and I'm going to do some uh, white lines. Okay, so here's my, uh, my background is set. So, one thing you'll notice, or maybe, hey Sam, we'll play a game. Do you okay. notice something? Do you notice, notice something different? in the bottom left of the screen, what kind of looks different? Um, I'm actually, my my computer just is slow, slowing down here. I want to make sure that everyone is be able to, can you see where you're at on, in the live, the live screen? Yeah, There's and it, it, it appears technology. to be reflecting mine. So we'll, we won't okay. make this a game then. We'll, cool, I'll yeah, just you just go ahead and I'll let you know when I'm caught yeah, up. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, let me tell you, uh, in the bottom corner here with the color pickers, um, you'll see kind of the tip of a pen or marker and then a fill. The reason is, so with the draw tool, one of the things that we've introduced or and we're uh, just ironing out some more kinks before we release it, so it's still going to work uh, as before. I could choose thickness. I can draw. Um, so that that's really no different, and you don't have to change your behavior. But what you can do now uh, is when I draw something, you get this little pop-up menu. Uh, one of the choices I can actively erase uh, what's happening. So, and that actually happens right now. But then there's two things below it. Uh, one, which is really cool, is a draw fill. So when you create a shape, and even if it's not fully closed or perfect, the app will do its best to close the shape uh, and fill it with the color that's uh, determined here, the stroke and the fill. So I'm going to keep my stroke black, but I'm going to do a fill of yellow. So when I do a circle, I can choose to fill it. The other thing that we've introduced so that uh, it just eliminates one uh, step, sometimes if I'm just writing letters or words and I want to quickly separate them as opposed to them all being in one object, like uh, I'm going to write my name, R-E-S-H-A-N. And right now, that's all one group. If I wanted those to be let individual letters before I would have to keep switching back and forth from the hand tool. But now what I can do is R and I hit this check E and what it's doing is kind of completing an individual drawing. I've run out of room. I'll fit it. And so now, you know, just, it saves one tap of switching back and forth between the hand. Uh, and that might be, uh, useful or convenient. We'll, we'll play around with this in a second. Um, a couple of other things, or I guess another uh, sweet little addition here is we've added uh, kind of a shape recognition, and there are certain 
uh, gestures you can do that when you draw it, it'll try to make the best geometric uh, shape matching it as close as possible. So for example, um, I'll do a fill of this blue and a border of white. So if I do a square, it, it'll do its best to match it. Um, here's a circle. Oh, I just did the draw. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. You go over there. Um, do a circle. And then there's some other cool uh, little uh, options. I think ah, I keep hitting the draw tool. See, I'm even getting used to the new gestures. Um, I think a star works. Thanks, Chris, for all your uh, tweets. Yeah, star does work. Let's see what else can I do. Um, but this one's fun. If you do a heart, hey, that's like an Easter egg. And there is some kind of wacky uh, gesture you can do that it'll make and explain everything light bulb. Let's see. So Sam, oh, Sam, Sam, where did Sam go? It's just me now. Oh, I need to re-invite Sam. I've been looking down at my screen. Yeah, I'll switch back to my face for a second. Um, and I seem to have lost Sam, so let me add him back. Sam. Sam. And hopefully he can join back in here. Uh, let me check the Google uh, window. I saw some tweets coming out, but let me check the the event window to see if any questions have come up. Uh, nice. Is there a co oh, good question, nursing professor. Let's make this collaborative. Um, actually, you know what? It's not going to work because right now I'm functioning off of a beta, and yeah, we'll try it. It might generate a bug or some sort of other catastrophic failure, but we will we will give it a go. So let me let me switch back to my screen here. And oops, that's not the screen. That's the screen. We'll see what happens here. So we're back to my iPad. Just let me just let Sam uh, just. And we'll try this again. No guarantees that uh, it's going to work because if we're on different versions or conflicting versions of the app again, I'm operating in a beta to show these uh, autofill features. Uh, it may not work, but I love taking risks. So here we go. If anybody has a collaborative version, um, we can see what happens. No guarantees. 7983T9. I'll type it in there. I'm back. <laughs> oh, hey, Sam. Hey. I, guess, uh, I'm, I was just explaining that uh, the collaboration right now, it'll probably work between me and you, but right. because we're operating on a beta, the, the app may not like the conflicting versions, but um, right. you can try joining. And, Let me um, try to see if it works. Some others can try joining too. Um, hey, look at that. That's working. I guarantee I do something that's going to crash what you, what, what you were doing. Um, oh, look, it kicked you out. So it's probably not going to work uh, without you being on the same version. But I can always open up another session. Uh, here comes Sam. Scott is trying to connect too. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Since there's so many people here, I feel like we should just open up a regular collaboration session and just and just mess around, um, just because that's fun. Um, let me do this. So I'm gonna hit stop. Sorry, Sam. No problem. And then I'll just we can just start another one. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna use the production version because I just saw like two other people seem to be listening in and uh, have the app available. So um, cool. I'm just gonna start this up here, and we, we'll just we'll we'll do it. You know what we're gonna do uh, with our special with whoever decides to join. Well, uh, let's collaboratively build Sam a, a birthday cake. <laughs> uh, here we go. All right, so new code. I'm gonna post this on the the channel. Let me delete the old one that I'd written. Delete, delete. So now it is K A A W X Q, and these should be displayed on the screen. All right. So now I'm using Sam the uh, the the version from the store. Great. There I am. Oh, I'm in a different one, but I'm in. Oh, uh, that's my test account. Let me sign out of. And uh, I'll write the code in here. I'm going to close this window, but I will write it. Uh, K, A, A, W, X, Q. And if you happen to be in this project right now, welcome. Um, and um, hold on, somebody else is doing. We got three people here. I'm going to go over to slide two, um, but others can mess around on slide one. I'm going. I'm just going to start building a 
a birthday cake for Sam <laughs> using my primitive skills. Now this will actually be this will actually be cool because what I'll do is I'll show what trying to uh, create this cake looks like without the autofill, and then I'll switch back to the beta and use the autofill um, thing there. Uh, somebody's making the candles. Very good. Now you can you can you can have a candle there. That's no problem. Somebody somebody drew a candle and then uh, or maybe it was just a line and then they realized oh nice choice there. Um, I'll add some I'll add some purple skinny candles in between. Okay, very good. Um, and okay, so check this out. So maybe confetti. Okay, and uh, I'll just type a little message down here. Happy birthday, Sam. You're not worried about uh, capitalization, right, Sam? Nope. Okay, good. Let's do some. Uh, oh, this is like. Oh, I spelled birthday wrong too. Do you care about that? Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like our picture. I'm 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 into it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll correct. Let me. Figure, um, so I've got the text box open. I'm gonna. Um, okay, there we go. All right, let me try to draw some balloons here. I've always been. Yeah, that'll be a skill. What you should actually do is draw a balloon off you, and then see if you can have it float in. Oh that's right, this, that's uh, what I'll do. Amazing. Like a floating yeah, yeah, yeah. balloon. Cool. Let me try to do that. Uh, I'm gonna go peek over at slide one, see if there's any activity there. Nope, just the code, which is fine. Uh, but yeah, the the candles. We got some confetti. Maybe those purple ones are like those uh, calendars, uh, candles that that relight themselves, that drive people crazy. And are you are you working? You know, what? I mean, I'm gonna peek to see if you're if that balloon. I'm is... trying to do draw balloons. I'm not very good at it though. Oh, okay. Try again. Let's try to draw some balloons here. So now I've kind of exited the uh, the main view. So I'm trying to see if I could find where Sam was working, and I'll just hit reset. Um, let me do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna export this image. Oh, actually, no, return. I'm just gonna take a screenshot because uh, this will be a fun little scratch face. So Sam, while while you're finishing your your balloon, I just see like squiggle. Maybe your balloon is somewhere else. Um, I'm actually going to end the collaboration session now. You can you okay. can keep adding your, your balloon. Um, so thanks for uh, to those who who joined um, and added to the the birthday cake. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back to this beta version um, because this is what I want to show. Um, let's see some pictures here. All right, so I just I just pulled in a screenshot of what we made in the in the store version, you see? And so now I'm gonna do the same thing, but this time I'm gonna use the draw the draw fill tool to recreate it. And thinking like bottom up, I'm first gonna make the plate. So like I can just draw a circle and hit auto fill. And now I'm gonna make the kind of gray interior of the plate, auto fill. Then I'm gonna draw the oh I never drew the top of the cake. We'll make it a yellow cake. Um, Autofill, and then I'm, we made the like outside ribbon, kind of like that, close enough. And, and still like overlapping things tend to group together. I just ungroup that. I don't need to be a perfectionist. So here's so far so good. Uh, but do you kind of see how this is coming together, Sam? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cool. It's pretty neat. I just made a candle. Uh, actually, let me do this. I'm delete that candle. I'm gonna I'm gonna draw a skinny one up here. Oh, what did I do? Look at that. I must have uh, hit some weird touch point. So do you you choose a border color as well as a fill color? Yeah, and it'll the in the color picker. Right. When you first launch the pen tool, it's always set to stroke. Yep. And then you can also set the fill. Right. Um, I'm gonna draw a little. Oh, see, I just chose the stroke. I wanted the fill. Actually, I'm going to make the stroke and the fill the same color. Let me zoom in here so you can see us as I'm constructing this. So red. Do I have an orange? I need an orange. So I'm going to 
orange fill. You're now seeing my little hacky way of creating these little, oops, artistic representations, if you even want to call it that. So, you know, I'm, you know, I am no skilled artist. I'm, an, I'm good at hacking things. I'm just going to make you five years old. Is that okay, Sam? That's fine. Um, I wish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like, you can see the, the comparison between, you know, an unskilled... Actually, no, the, the first strong was that. That was actually a pretty good birthday cake, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Uh, but the, the, this next one actually looks, you know, it looks pretty sharp. Um, and it's an option. Like, you, you don't have to use the, the fancy draw fill. Uh, but I think it creates this ability... Sorry, I'm trying to group these all together while talking. Uh, to make some really nice looking uh, shapes and uh, and uh, and images, let me try to draw the ribbon. Uh, oh, should we check the uh, the channel to see if there's any oh, yeah. questions? There aren't, so that's okay. Cool. Um, yeah, feel free to post them if you if anyone does have questions that we we can answer those as we go along here. I'm trying to think of a uh, let me see. How would I do this? See, if I have like overlapping shapes, I'm trying to like recreate the ribbon. Right. I'm not sure how the fill will work. Yeah, no, that's not that's not what we wanted. So you actually have to like imagine. Um... And say, Rashawn, I have a question. Say, um, I want to draw something like a balloon, right? But it would. Would I, for to make the string of the balloon, would I want to create that object separately from, say, the center of the balloon, which I want colored, and the string, which I don't, so it doesn't automatically fill the, the balloon string? Yeah, that's a great point. I think you yeah. want to start thinking in terms of, like, components. Like, right. uh, you know, if I'm thinking of a balloon, there's two elements, the balloon and the string. So you right. might first draw the balloon, and then you can draw the string attached to it. Right. Uh, the other thing with these uh, drawings is the the speed at which you uh, draw determines like how straight or fine it is. So if you're drawing a straight line, like if I want it to be really straight and edgy, like it'll it'll make harder edges the faster you draw. If I want something to be really round, like if I wanted to draw an S, if I construct it slower, fast. Slow. It's just going to make a smoother um, an object because it's actually tracking more uh, touch points, which is pretty cool. Right, and um, I've also noticed that not you don't necessarily have to finish or, or kind of loop the the objects in order to have them filled. You could do something like a um, like outlining a square with with just lines or dots, and yeah. it'll still fill that area within. Yeah, even like Piotr and I, Piotr, one of the other co-founders, when we were messing around with it last week, we discovered some cool unintentional results of the design, which is like if I just draw four corners, right? It, it'll 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 construct a shape. Now cool. it's slightly offset, um, but now I can like draw a trapezoid. Oh, so well, that wasn't a great trapezoid. But if you have, you know, if I perfectly right. align things, um, it works. Let me see if I draw an H. I don't know how. Let me see how that works. No, that didn't work. So that was probably too complicated. But it's more so like if I was like very rushed and drew something like that, it cleans it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah, if you if you did what you said before about like a incomplete circle, um, it it'll it'll close the shape for you. Right. Very cool. Um, yeah. And it's got that animated artistic nature, which which is not present when you just have the shape tool. So it's a, it's a cool kind of addition to you know the shapes that are very squared off and not as yeah. organic as the shapes that you're making here. It's like a nice in between between uh, like you know a hand constructed thing and 
kind of a more computer generated uh, right. graphic. So it's 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 still got like a nice ring of uh, authenticity. Right. Uh, oh, Karine asks, uh, wondering. Yeah, you know, eventually, Karine, we will add more shapes here, uh, including to the ones that can be drawn freeform, uh, but also from the uh, the list of things to choose from. That's a uh, that's a, a long a thing that's long been on our list. I wonder if I can hack the hexagon. Let me see. Um, I mean, this is not going to be a perfect hexagon. So hexagon is six, right? Yeah. I was a math teacher. Yeah, that yeah that you would not want to present that hexagon to children. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Rashawn, I don't know if you if you spoke about this, but what I'm just trying to think of, and I don't even know if you've really thought about it too much because it's so new. But what ways would you think of this tool being used? Maybe, um, you know, what are, what are some ways that you would use it? I guess I guess outside of math. So that was a really good question, right? So to draw to draw shapes is a great way to use the tool. But what are some other ways you think? I just think you know it, if you're getting beyond just things that you wouldn't, you know, there are things where I'm just writing with like letters. Right. There's my bad handwriting. Um, you know, I think I'm in this beta. I'm probably like clogging up the memory here. So you know, there there's writing, and you know that's not going to change. Right. And I think it's just this opportunity that if you're creating your own types of visual assets that are beyond traditional print and cool. text and numbers right. that this, you know, the barrier normally is like, oh, I have to find the clip art or I'm not able to visually represent that because I don't necessarily have the, uh, you know, the fine artistic skills. And you still don't need to, but I think you can better represent the thing you're trying to uh, do by with this kind of slightly scaffolded way of, of presenting the thing. So like if I wanted to draw uh, a fried egg, if I wasn't using the draw fill, like I would probably, you know, first draw the outline. Actually, this is going to be a pretty good egg, so maybe not a good example. But like, <laughs> oh, that's not the color I wanted. Stroke. So my. But what's happening here is that I'm kind of, you know, I'm using a piece of technology and I'm doing a very analog process here of mm -hmm. you know, drawing a line then drawing in some fill on it, and then drawing in some other fill. Right. And sure, I mean, this is still a computer rendering of my hand gestures, but now with the with the draw fill, let's change my stroke here, that I could create the same thing. Oh, that's not what I wanted. And all right, so yeah, the the, the difference is, is, is subtle, but I also think it's 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 tangible and and it's just presented a nicer. The other thing is that these these uh, auto shape tools are are kind of right now at least they're they're vector based. So as I zoom in or out, they preserve their clarity. Right. With like a hand drawn thing, do you notice how the edge is getting pixelated? Right. And with the vector, that is not happening, and that's. Yeah. That's the result again of computer-generated drawing and uh, this kind of more uh, bitmap or analog, and we're just supporting both for depending on uh, how people want to do it. And I think that's uh, it, it's a pretty cool thing. Right. And I was I was actually I saw some of the the note taking you did the other day, kind of the interactive note taking with the pictures and um, the animations that kind of accompany some of the traditional note taking that you were doing at some conference the other day. I thought that was a pretty cool. Way yeah, to, to use use the draw and fill and and that tool especially. Yeah, I've been using the uh, this beta quite a bit um, over the past week or so, and just you know doing things with, with the draw fill. Um, like yesterday, I took notes. I guess some of them aren't. Um, you know, here. I mean, this this That's makes cool. me look yeah. like a, an amateur cartoonist, where this is really. Um, you know, just just hacking things together, and I, I can show you an example. Oh, I crashed the app. Hold on. Don't worry, that was a beta. Um, let me go back to me while my iPad recovers. Recovers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the uh, sorry, what was I saying? Oh, about taking the notes and stuff. Right. Yeah, well, let me show you an example. Let me 
Let me get this back up on the screen. Uh, share screen, share screen. Now, hold on, my quick time is also acting funny. New movie recording. And yeah, and it, I noticed God, this is this is really the first time I've I've played with it, and um, it's pretty intuitive. So, for for example, I just figured out that you know the objects that you want to fill, you should separate from the objects that you want to just keep as as a straight line or a kind of a linear creation. So, for example, I I just found when I asked Rashawn about the balloon, I had created a whole balloon in in one object. Oh, uh, and it included the string? It included the string. It created its own outline for the string and then did a fill there. So that's that's something you know that you want to want to think about when you're using the autofill is that each object is, is separate and what's going to get filled in is is separate. You want to separate kind of the different parts of of the the animation or whatever you're creating. All right. My iPad has has recovered from that. That thing. So, like, take for example. Oh, you know what? I realized this this project was made in a different version of the beta, so that probably also crashed. It. But, all right, look at look at these uh, these three people running towards the Earth. You see this? Yeah. So let me let me walk you through like how how I actually made that. So first, we'll start with the Earth, and this is like becoming my favorite thing to to repurpose and reuse. So I oops, I want the fill to be that the stroke to be that. So first, I'll draw a circle, and notice I'm drawing it pretty big because with the vectors, it'll it'll resize. Then I'm gonna draw. Oops, that's stroke fill. Then I'm gonna draw the continents to my best ability, and what you could probably see is the line doubling up around the edge because I want to kind of close that shape so that it looks like the continents. So even though I'm gonna draw like. You know, part of the uh, east side there, and then if I wanted uh, a little Antarctica, Arctic freezing, so like that's how my Earth came together. And now this is something that I could shrink and move over. So then the next thing I did was I created these people, and I'm borrowing. I can't remember the name of the artist, but you know, I read these like books about. Uh, visual note taking and sketch note, and this is one kind of standard form to represent a person. You draw a circle and a box and a body, and there they are. And then I duplicated it, and then I decided, oh, I kind of want an arrow showing going to Earth. So what I could do is very easily, which I wouldn't be able to do with these kind of layer drawings as easily, is I drew a big fat arrow like that. And then I sent it to the back. And then I'm just going to group all of these together. And that's kind of how I created that. Uh, oops, I forgot to group the arrow. Cool. Uh, that's how I ended up grouping the this whole set of stuff together. All right. That's awesome. Um, yeah, so that's I, – I, I just think there's really – fun potential in using this. And again, it just looks so great uh, when you're scrolling in like this because it's really behaving like a computer-generated graphics, but that were really designed by your, by your analog physical hand. So it's just kind right. of cool, cool in-betweenness uh, that I think uh, has potential. Uh, let's see, the nursing mm -hmm. professor asks, would it reduce time for crescent final project in terms of memory? Uh, I don't know the answer to that, though I do know that once the uh, – once this version releases, when you send, you know, the project file size, when you send it to uh, explain everything, discover, like you'll be able to use the cloud compression, and certainly there it'll be uh, plenty fast. But I don't know the answer about the uh, local device-based compression uh, if it's any faster because of the uh, the vector drawings, because it still uh, has to do with the uh, the amount of frames and stuff on the frame uh, and how many changes between frames uh, in the recording. But uh, but we'll certainly check on that. Um, yeah, what else? Oh, so this is something else that's uh, a little bit more subtle, um, but some people may enjoy using it. Let me, uh, let me add, um, this is going to be a huge mistake. I, I, I was in, 
in beautiful uh, Banff in, uh, in Alberta, Canada uh, this week at a really great conference. And here, here's, here's one of my wildlife images. So like, this is not like a Mac OS background. You want to share your screen really quick so we can oh, see? Oh, you, okay, you can just see the top of my head. <laughs> Sorry about that. I forgot I switched. We, no, we, we get one of those each week, so we know. We, we're yeah, yeah, that's good. Ch check it off the list. All right, so this right. is what I wanted to show, that, that this is not a, uh, an iOS or Mac OS background. Uh, these were the actual elk uh, in, the, in the park. Cool. Um, but what, what you can do now is with any like part of the stage or – um, something like that. Let me see if I can move this around. So like, all right, so I mean, this is probably poorly positioned. Okay, so the cut tool, before we, we had introduced this in, in the new version of the app in Collaborative Whiteboard where I could select any area and it'll make a, a cut of that. And if it's a drawing with transparency, it preserves the transparency behind. Uh, but now kind of on the fly, I can also, do a lasso cut. So interesting. That's a new one. Cool. If I want to, uh, I'll do a lowercase r. If I wanted like an r with that the Banff clouds, uh, I could do that. Now I could have done this on the photo editor too, but now I can actually do this um, at any moment in time. So like I could. Right, and you can keep the scale of the picture. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. So very quickly, I can just like pull things out. So if I wanted uh, just elements, and this might even work like if I was working with a document and stuff and wanted to quickly just grab a word or a phrase, mm -hmm. uh, instead of needing to use a rectangle, I can use this uh, lasso cut. And it creates this flattened object that I can now repurpose. Um, and then there's a precise cut, uh, which is just that um, you can see exactly where the tip is. And so when I press it, I can make a really specific, no, I'm not skilled enough. This is actually probably best with the stylus. Um, they, um, they can make really fine precision uh, cuts of an area, um, you know, for those artists. And then. So you just did that with your trackpad? Uh, I, was, I was using, uh, oh, you can't see it. I was just using a cheap stylus. Right. Uh, oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so those. That's uh, we can we we can wrap it up there. But uh, we just wanted to give this preview. We'll be on Twitter and Facebook. Google Plus will be and probably a news post sharing more information about the uh, the timing and and uh, what what these features are. But we are excited to preview them for those who tuned in today. Cool. Any uh, any closing words of wisdom on your birthday, Sam? Um, you know, thanks for joining us again and. Uh... You know, as always, we'll be back next week. And if you guys, if anyone out there views any of the uh, webinars that we post and have any questions, any follow-up questions or anything that they would like to see, we would love your feedback and suggestions as we continue to prepare, you know, the next few weeks out. So um, love to hear the feedback and thanks for joining. All right. Thanks, everyone. And thanks for